Have you any news on Nurse Crane and her dispensary? It seems her dispensary isn't so busy nowadays. A good thing for the Swanborough Cordial. You look ill, Miss Swanborough. I wonder if your concoction will do the trick. Hmm. I have no doubt it will. But I'm not against a second opinion, Dr. Reed. Well, there you have it. Take this remedy, but be discreet. It may damage your business otherwise. Thank you. Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. Perhaps we'll talk again. Have you any news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Not recently. You don't seem well, Benjamin. Do you need any help? I always feel ill, sir. It's like I'm never right. I can try to help your body heal, sir. But you must stop destroying it. The war destroyed me, Doctor. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Good evening, Mr. Petrescu. What are you doing here? I could ask you the exact same question, Mr. Doctor. Now leave me alone. I heard what happened to Nurse Crane. How do you feel, Mr. Petrescu? Everything was going well until you arrived. Dorothea helped people and will be sorely missed. I regret it too. I wish she'd continued working at the Pembroke Hospital. She was a good nurse. So you put an end to the operation. Did you put an end to Dorothea as well? You seem to have a lot on your chest, sir. What's wrong? I heard you are a famous surgeon. Tell me, what did you do to Dorothea? She was so bright, so clever. Then you made her an empty shell. I didn't use drugs or medical trickery, Mr. Petrescu. All I did was talk to Nurse Crane. I promise you. But what happened to her then? After you left, she did not even recognize me. And then she got careless and sick, and I had to flee. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. What do you plan to do? now that Nurse Crane is gone. I'm not sure. Strange men came to see me after Toratea's death, with strange weapons and very odd stories. What kind of stories? Stories all Romanian children know. It was as if I was home again. Vampires, Mr. Doctor. Vampires. You believe them? Aren't you too old to hold a weapon or listen to scary stories? Yes, I am old and alone and will die soon, but if these stories are true, maybe I have found myself another cause. Are you living on the streets, Mr. Petrescu? And why not? Those who believe they'll be safe behind walls are blind. What about your house? My house is always open to any poor soul needing a roof. All my work here is lost now that Dorothea is gone, thanks to you. Why are you so aggressive? I remember the night you came here and convinced me to open my door to you, sir. I'd like to punch you right on your chops. How do you feel, Mr. Petrescu? Do you need my help? I would not even accept fresh water from you, Doctor. I don't need your help. Yes, you do. Please. Take this. You'll feel better. I said I don't want anything. But I'll keep this for those who really need it. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Tá 
Remember you. Fear be gone. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. You selected me, chose me, as shall my children yet to come. What is it you seek? This age is sickly, an ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the Serpent of Knowing with Iron Spur. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. Are you all right, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? I heard that she used to help the refugees, but unfortunately you don't see her around anymore. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. I've seen many deaths in my life, and we all grieve in our own way. Some stay silent, or need to shout. Others need company, and some just can't stand it. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Shun. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days, but for me it meant the end of the world. At this time, 
There is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming, to have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. Did he laugh at his death to come? Or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. But you're not dead. There is a difference between visiting the dead and staying with them. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say... I, too, have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Please accept my condolences for your loss, then, Dr. Reed. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? No. But I felt I should share it with you. Since she is buried here too. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Xiaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. So many new graves. Why do I still feel so disconnected from the others then? Ugh. <sighs> 
It's locked. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order, and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The Guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. If you don't mind, I have a few questions. Well, I'd be delighted to help you if I'm able. I just recently met the strangest creature in Whitechapel. He was immense. He mocked me and accused me of hypocrisy. Perhaps it was a skull. London's streets are overflowing with them these days. It was a vampire, all right. But what kind, I'm not sure. He was large and very fast. If you find anything more about this creature, the Brotherhood would greatly appreciate any information you could spare. He was observing me with the obvious intent to do me harm. 
His very presence evoked a palpable sense of menace. You need to be careful, Jonathan. You've no idea what this creature really is. I recently tried to enter a church. It has been a very unpleasant experience. The Brotherhood's research on the matter of faith and vampirism has proved somewhat insubstantial, to say the least. Is this proof that I'm cursed in the eyes of the Divine? The wrath of the Almighty, and there's no way of knowing. It could be subconscious guilt, or irrational fear, or deep-seated beliefs. It's hard to explain in terms of science, that's for sure. I'm sure Lady Ashbury will have far greater insight into this matter than little old me. What exactly happened here while I was absent? Hampton turned. Quite violently, as it happened. Lurking about. Attacked Miss Jones. To say he created quite a commotion would be an understatement. Are you sure it was Hampton that killed Miss Jones? Oh, there was blood everywhere, but no body. And you know the state she was in? I fear for what he did with her. Hopefully he just hid the corpse. How did the guard of Prewin come to hear of this? McCullum has spies everywhere. He will jump at any opportunity to disparage the Brotherhood and show his contempt. Who was that man in your office? Geoffrey McCullum, actual leader of the guard of Prewin. I suspect he's the man behind the rebirth of this old and dusty society. They know I'm here now, don't they? I understand your need for blood and will not get in your way. But if you could refrain from feeding within these walls, it would go a long way to defending your case. What do they hope to achieve? Their ultimate goal is the eradication of all vampires in the country. They see you as a threat to mankind, Jonathan. Thank you, Edgar. Breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Can you tell me anything about the recent commotion in the hospital? It's a tragedy, pure and simple. The hospital is meant to be a safe haven to all. We failed the people who trusted us with their care. Do you think I should not have brought Mr. Hampton back here? It's not your fault. You rescued that poor soul. It was the Christian thing to do. But we should have noticed his instability. I have no doubt about it. You are still ill all the same. Please, take this medicine. I appreciate your concern, Dr. Reed. To be honest, I just did not take the time to diagnose myself. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Can you tell me anything about the recent commotion in the hospital? I'm sure it was not your fault, Dr. Reed. My fault? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. It's just... I heard it was you who brought the murderer inside our walls. But you couldn't know, could you? Do you need my medical attention, dear colleague? I would have been confused if anyone other than you had asked that question, Dr. Reed. But your help is welcomed. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? I had shouting coming from the first floor. I was asleep when it started. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? It's a disgrace. How on earth can patients be attacked in their own rooms? Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. What can you tell me about the recent events in the hospital? That Mr. Hampton killed Miss Jones in her room, then ran away. And did you see all this? No. I was working by the tents when it all happened. I only entered the room when they asked me to clean up the blood. Where is Miss Jones's body? I don't know. I'd imagine the morgue. It all happened so quickly. Did you see Sean Hampton leave the hospital? I think I saw a silhouette exiting the hospital gates after the shouting started. At first I thought it was someone who was just scared, but 
Well, maybe it was him. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. What on earth happened here? Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? Everybody's afraid. Death has always been a frequent visitor. But murder? How can we cope with that? As a nurse at this hospital, it is your duty to deal with these things as best you can. Yeah. Until it's my turn to have blood spread all over the walls. I entered the room first, Dr. Reed. I've seen what that monster did to the woman. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. <laughs>